Two weeks ago, I posted a video about basics of hand stripping. And after posting the video, I received a lot of messages and emails asking me more about hand stripping. And one of the questions were, what's the difference between hand stripping, rolling and carding? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to roll a coat. Hi, my name is Itka. I'm the founder of Vita Canis and happy dog mom to five mischievous terriers. And this is one of them, my lovely Lakeland Terrier Adele. Here at Vita Canis, we help you to naturally and organically improve the health and happiness of your dog. So please subscribe to my channel. So if you haven't met Adele, this is uh, my life mentor, Adele. Uh, she's a nine-year-old um, girl. Uh, she's a retired show dog and she had a very successful showing career. She got Best of Breed at Crafts in 2015 and she's a UK champion and she's a mom to Alan, Lake Terrier Alan, uh, Sarah Don uh, Enigma, who won um, Terrier Group at Crafts in 2017. So she's a very proud mom. So today I'm going to show you how to roll a coat on uh, Adele. Hand stripping and rolling, these words refer to uh, the removal of dead guard hair by using a stripping knife, stripping stone or thumb and finger to make a room for a new coat to grow in. Uh, this would result in a proper wire coat that helps a dog's coat stand up to harsh weather conditions. Well, not so much these days when most of the dogs live indoor anyway. Hand stripping a coat speeds up an otherwise natural process. When done correctly, as I mentioned in my previous video, it's painless because wire hair isn't attached like our own hair or even like breeds with other types of coats, for example, wool coat or mixed wool coat. Each hair follicle supports a single hard outer hair and several soft, finer hairs that uh, form a supportive undercoat. The finer hair is very soft at the base and only lightly anchored in a follicle, in a skin, and that's why the hair pulls out easily. These are the tools I'm going to use in this video. Um, this, uh, this is a fine stripping knife, this is extra fine stripping knife, carding knife and a bristle brush. These are my favorite knives and you can find them on Wirehead Fox Terrier Association website. And the carding knife is Greyhound and you can get it from Purple Paws. So Adele has been hand stripped uh, about two weeks ago uh, when, I, when I did my video and you can see her coat is already quite long. She has really nice, dense, harsh coat with a soft uh, undercoat. Uh, her ears and front and furnishing are pale because they are clipped and scissored. So in her case, I only hand stripped the body the jacket. Uh, when rolling, uh, rolling should be done on weekly basis, minimally. You can do it a few times a week. And it is very important to do it lightly. So we just, we stretch the skin, like when we do uh, hand stripping, and very lightly remove the top layer of the coat. Light touch is very important and when it comes to rolling, uh, little and often is the key. If you struggle how much to take, how much coat to take off, you can use a, a bristle brush or a terrier pad and pat the coat and it will lift the hair that needs to be removed. For rolling, it's good to use a fine or extra fine stripping knife.
The finer hair, the undercoat, can be easily removed by carding. So, simply said, carding is uh, the removal of dog's undercoat. For carding, uh, we use a carding knife and we, again, but with hand stripping, we stretch the skin and we gently kind of like comb the hair with the knife and we pull out the soft undercoat. If you not if you are not sure uh, what pressure to use, you can you can try it on your arm. So you, you're sure you're not gonna scratch the dog. So you um, hold the knife quite flat like this and try it. So it, it doesn't hurt. So you do, you apply the same pressure on your dog's coat. Okay, so I'll show you again. Good girl. That's it. Good girl. So we stretch the skin and just do a little bit at a time. Don't try to drag the, uh, the knife from the neck to the tail. Just a little bit like this. You can see how much undercoat we are removing. I wouldn't recommend to do a carding before hand stripping because sometimes if the dog doesn't have a new coat underneath and you remove the undercoat before hand stripping, you may end it up with a bald dog. So it's always better to remove undercoat after hand stripping. Stay with us till the end for an extra aromatherapy tip. When carding the coat, make sure you card with direction of growth, like this. And also make sure, keep checking if you didn't scratch or irritate the skin. If for some reason uh, the skin is quite red or dark pink, you can use soothing antiseptic spray. Uh, I personally use this soothing antiseptic spray after every hand stripping because it's uh, antifungal, antiseptic, antibacterial and it's, it's a natural remedy that provides relief from scratches, dermal infection, bites and hot spots. It's very mild, gentle, unique blend of hydrosol, but very, very effective. Uh, for example, Rock Rose Hydrosol in a super thing antiseptic spray is highly astringent, meaning uh, that contracts, uh, tightens and binds tissue. It's also great for tightening uh, hair follicle and pores. Uh, therefore, I highly recommend the soothing antiseptic spray after hand stripping. Also, lavender hydrosol is a, uh, has a regenerative effect on damaged or fragile skin, where actually the skin is a little bit more fragile after hand stripping. And thyme hydrosol is strongly antibacterial, antifungal and antiseptic. So here is my extra aromatherapy tip. Uh, you can use sweet orange uh, essential oil to clean your hand stripping tools. Uh, sweet orange uh, essential oil can be effective at stopping the growth of some types of bacteria and fungi. And uh, also uh, it is uh, uh, safe to use in non-toxic, not irritating, uh, non-sensitizing. Uh, this oil is not considered to be phototoxic and it's safe to use around dogs. So what you do, you just put a drop on the blade of your stripping knife and the other side like this and then wipe with a clean cloth. So your tools will be not only clean but also smell beautiful.
Thank you for watching and I just want to show you quickly the amount of hair I got out of Anel in this short session. So here we are. So again, thank you for watching and remember keep calm and keep aromatherapy.